New York, the sightseer's paradise. Many persons describe America's largest city as the greatest man-made wonder of the world. Manhattan alone has a little bit of everything. Out in New York Harbor, Miss Liberty still holds her lamp by the golden door. This most thrilling of sights is one of the major tourist attractions of the city. A Staten Island ferry boat offers a wonderful and inexpensive way to see the skyline and the water traffic. Many people don't know that the Port of New York is the greatest harbor in the world. Its piers and shoreline measure up to 755 miles. That's why you can see so many ocean-going ships, including the great liners that come and go on the tide. The Brooklyn Bridge, the first steel suspension bridge in the world and still the most beautiful. On Wall Street, Washington's statue shows where the first president took his oath of office. New York has every nationality because millions of immigrants who came to this country stayed right here. Chinatown makes an oriental island in Manhattan. Delicious food scent the air. And every year on Chinese New Year's Day, you can enjoy the colorful parade and amid the din of firecrackers, the flaring dragon. Nothing illustrates the Americanization of its citizens better than the vignettes of New York. While Chinese Americans love noodles, egg rolls, and wonton soup, they also clearly like hot dogs. Mulberry and Hester are two well-known streets of the Lower East Side. And what do you find in this famous area? Why the open-air bargaining, push carts, and the tumultuous life of the sidewalks of New York. In Washington Square at the lower end of Fifth Avenue in Greenwich Village, folk dancers and folk singers express their freedom and joy in living. Village artists display their work here in the open, and you can generally find one to paint your portrait on the spot. North from Lower Manhattan, you pass the 60-story Woolworth Building, once the world's tallest and you see the East River in the background. Again and again, you are reminded that Manhattan is an island, a magic, mighty island. City Hall, built in 1812, one of America's loveliest public buildings. Midtown Manhattan. It is here that one of the first skyscrapers was built. The old Flatiron Building still stands south of Madison Square where Broadway meets Fifth Avenue. King of them all is the Empire State Building, second to none in the world. It rises 102 stories high, 1,472 feet up, including the multiple television transmitter that caps its tower. People below look pretty small from up here. New York is the home of the United Nations, whose gleaming secretariat building of glass and stone adjoins the shallow dome of the General Assembly, where representatives from over a hundred nations make living history every day. Fifth Avenue and 42nd Street, where famous stone lions guard the entrance to the New York Public Library, largest of its kind. It is famous for other things, too. Smart shops and bright parades. Every 17th of March, for example, St. Patrick receives a rousing salute on this wide thoroughfare. St. Patrick's Day paraders always march proudly past St. Patrick's Cathedral. Here's Rockefeller Center, where a quarter of a million people work and where thousands daily visit Radio City Music Hall. A whole cluster of skyscrapers make up Rockefeller Center, and shops, gardens, and restaurants surround its golden Prometheus fountain. Park Avenue, running north and south, is Society Street. Some of the finest apartments and most magnificent new office buildings are found here. 
From the 70th story observation roof of Rockefeller Center, you get a splendid view of Central Park, 840 acres of natural greenery in the very middle of bustling Manhattan. Central Park has everything, including a splendid zoo. You might say that it really has two zoos, for at one of them you can feed the animals if you like. And if you get tired of feeding animals, you can relax on Central Park's lagoon. New York abounds in great museums. The Metropolitan alone holds 350,000 works of art and is one of the oldest in the city. One of the newest is the Guggenheim Museum, designed by the renowned American architect Frank Lloyd Wright. Way uptown, the George Washington Bridge spans the Hudson River. Also along the Hudson, you find the tomb of Ulysses S. Grant, 18th President of the United States. And just across from the final resting place of the general and his wife is Riverside Church, whose Gothic beauty soars up to its Carillon Tower. From the church tower, you can easily see the campus of Columbia University, the third oldest institution of higher learning in the United States. Seventh Avenue and 125th Street is one of the best known intersections of fabulous Harlem. It's one of the liveliest areas in the whole busy city of New York. On the west side of Midtown Manhattan, the New York Coliseum towers over Columbus Circle, the most modern convention and exhibition hall in the world. Swing down Broadway and you come to the brightest spot of all. This is Times Square, where traffic from Broadway funnels into that of 7th Avenue, where an average of 1,500,000 people pass through every day. Times Square becomes the Great White Way at night when all its spectacular lights go on. For this is the entertainment center. All of New York's leading stage and screen theaters are located along this part of Broadway and adjoining crosstown streets. New York City, the sightseer's paradise, the greatest man-made wonder of the world.